There's a new pharmacy now open in the surgical lounge, and a new MRI arrives at Sinai Grace, next on Sinai Grace Today. Hello, I'm Melanie Moss. Sunday Grace employees now have a new convenient option for filling prescriptions with the opening of the outpatient pharmacy in the surgical lounge. The new pharmacy opened on Monday, February the 1st with a short program and ribbon cutting ceremony. If you haven't already seen the new pharmacy, stop by and check it out. Sunday Grace's new MRI machine arrived early this month. Sinai Grace is the first hospital in the DMC system to get this type of MRI machine, which is able to accommodate patients weighing up to 500 pounds. Sinai Grace has also purchased new video goggles so patients can feel more relaxed during the procedure. The new machine should be up and running in March. Don't forget to complete your employee engagement survey by February 28th. This year, Sinai Grace's goal is to achieve 50% participation. A hospital program you might not know about is bringing comfort and warmth to our patients and their families. To learn more, let's go to Katherine Higgins. Katherine? Thanks, Melanie. At Sunday Grace, our Love Blankets program is providing comfort and warmth to patients and their families. Here to tell us more is Head of Spiritual Care Services, Judy Schluter. Judy, tell me about your Love Blankets program. Well, this program began more than a year ago as a way to demonstrate the, the warmth and caring of the staff by offering a blanket for our patients in palliative care or in hospice care. These are lovely. Now we're going to talk with Bernadette Borla, a nurse practitioner, who's going to tell us what you should do if you feel like you have a patient or a family member that would be appropriate to give a love blanket to. Bernadette, what should you do if you need a love blanket? Sure, if you need a blanket for a palliative care or hospice patient, you can contact Denise Wazileski, the Director of Palliative Medicine, or you can contact Spiritual Care Services, um, and they can share that blanket with the family and patient. Great, thank you, Bernadette. Thank you. Now we're going to talk with Chaplain Doris Montgomery, who's going to tell you how you can get involved if you'd like to contribute a love blanket. Doris, do you guys need more blankets? Yes, we are in need of more blankets, and if you sew, if you crochet, if you knit, or even if you quilt, we are in need of blankets. If you don't sew or quilt, then, then we will take donations of, of yarn or of threads or whatever you have and make the blankets. Great. So lots of great ways to get involved. Yeah. At Sinai Grace, we're providing comfort and warmth to our patients and their families with love blankets. Now available to take donations of your blankets and also materials and yarn. I'm Katherine Higgins for Sinai Grace Today. Hi, I'm Amber Flynn, Administrative Director of Service Excellence. As you know, frontline caregivers have a direct impact on our patient satisfaction scores, but everyone at Sinai Grace plays an important role. Today, we're talking with SEA LaDawn Kennedy about some of the little things we can do to help our guests. LaDawn, when a guest stops you and asks for directions, what's the best way to help them? At Sinai Grace, the best thing to do when a visitor or someone asks for directions is to actually take them to the destination. I personally do this because it makes the people feel like we actually care about where they're trying to go. Thank you, LaDawn. At your service, I'm Amber Flynn. A young man had just opened his office and felt really excited. His secretary told him a man was there to see him. The young doctor told her to send him in. Pretending to be a busy doctor, he picked up his phone just as the man came in. Yes, that's right. The fee is $200. Yes, I'll expect to see you at 2. All right, no later. I'm a very busy man. He hung up the phone and turned to the man waiting. May I help you? No, said the man. I just came to install your phone. <laughs> Hello my friends, Conrad here. You like my glasses? Last week my father came in from Connecticut to check on my Aunt Nora. She had a little health problem and he saw me reading the newspaper by moving my arms backwards and forwards and he said, listen man, don't you have any glasses? So here they are. Last week in the mail, you also received, like me, your employee survey information. You got your passcode in the mail. The passcode will allow you to access the computer program so that we can hear from you and understand what you believe is important. Who says what is of no value to us and no one is concerned about who said it. 
What we need to know from you, however, is what you think. We need to know from you what we ought to be doing to make your work life better. Please, by February 28th, fill out your employee survey. We will not and are not trying to determine, again, who said what. We just want to be sure that our employees feel like they've been given opportunities to say what they feel about what is going on at the place where they work. February 28th, please, let's get this done. Thank you. A first-hand account of the disaster in Haiti on next week's Sunday Grace Today. I'm Melanie Moss. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.